Have you ever seen the inside of this big engine? The size of the crankshaft as well as the piston. In this video, I'm going to show you how they manage to pull out the piston and the liner of this big engine. So come and join me in this new learning. Part of the crew weekly checking for the main engine is to do the cylinder scrape down analysis which it is an additional tool for monitoring the operation and condition of this two-stroke engine and cylinder lubricants. This allows the engineers to assess the performance of each cylinder unit separately. So the crew take actual samples from each lubricating oil. Disregarding the initial flow is a must so that you can get the accurate oil sample. This is to ensure that it is not the residue from the pipe that you are getting. The one that is flowing right now is the actual lubricating oil coming from the inside. And please take note that the files should be marked as per the unit and then each samples will be analyzed as per this computer the oil taken from the piston underside and the system oil give an indication of wear performance by measuring the content of iron copper and chromium the combustion quality contaminants such as water or oil system, remaining base number which is an indicator of protection against corrosive wear. Just like what I have said, each samples will be analyzed using this computer. And this scrape down analysis is being done every week. So this is a very important tool to monitor the stuffing box performance, check and optimize cylinder oil feed rate, increase the time between overhauls by extending the lifetime of cylinder liners and piston rings, and reduce system oil consumption. The accuracy of the test is really important to give the engineers the enough or the correct information about the maintenance that will be done in each unit or on the main engine and if there is something abnormal onto the oil sample being tested you will get an indication or the right measurement of parts per million of the unwanted metallic content or impurities on the oil sample this will be then recorded and submit to the chief engineer for his analysis. Normally, if you have this abnormal result, they will do another scrape down to compare the results. And sometimes they will decide if they will cut off one of the units that is causing this high amount of impurities into the oil. And then the crew will be doing another checking, which is the actual checking of the unit. Because the scrape down analysis does not replace regular inspections, which are still essential to ensure safe operation. It allows evaluating the cylinder condition and engine wear condition. After getting the results that we had, the engineers decided to prepare all the equipment needed including the liners, piston, and the exhaust valve. And after arriving in the port, the crew will do a scavenging inspection to see 
the actual condition of the piston, piston rings, or even the cylinder liner. This is to check the root cause of why having these abnormal measurements onto the scrape down analysis. This is how big the connecting rod and the crankshaft of this engine. The main engine parts get worn out of course due to continuous usage and working and the wear and tear in the cylinder liner is mainly because of friction, corrosion, abrasion, scuffing or adhesion. Engineers then will do the deflection measurement. This is to measure the diameter of the liner. They will also check the condition of the piston and the piston rings. If found an abnormality, then they need to pull out or replace the cylinder liner and the piston. Actually, this video is a collection of different clips taken from different main engines I have sailed with so that I can show it to you the actual size, the way how it looked like, and the actual operation of the maintenance we are doing on board. Sometimes it is the crew who's doing the main engine cylinder liner pull out even for the piston replacement. But as of for this video, the company hire these technicians to do the cylinder liner pull out. This is just to give you a brief idea on how the life on board, especially for the engineers, and how difficult the job we are doing at sea. This is for us to keep the main engine running and deliver all the goods that we are carrying. Of course, the amount of this cargo will cost around billions of dollars and the company doesn't want to get any delay in delivering all these essential goods in every country or in every destination ports that they are going. On my side as an electrical officer, it is my duty to maintain the good condition of this engine room crane to avoid any delay during this very important maintenance. This kind of job requires enough manpower, proper planning, and proper orientations for the technicians and for the crew as well to work in a safe manner. A good teamwork is a must for this kind of job and operation. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and this is your Lucky Jake and see you.